going to review the at combo module from uh, from PV Revalver. Uh, it's been out for a while now. And it is a really cool thing. I recently bought it. And there's not a lot on it. It's a really awesome feature. It's kind of similar to the Kemper profiler type idea, except for it's a piece of software you can I mean, you do need a PC, but you can normally get this fairly cheap. The At Combo module, I think, is like $40. And it basically profiles amps. So the thing is, I don't have any amps worth fucking profiling. Uh, my amp uh, are all practice little practice amps. I just play around them in my house. Let me turn my volume down so that if I hit something, you won't hear that over me talking. And uh, so what I have here, I've profiled things from YouTube, actually. I've been able to download um, the bands uh, such as Metallica. So you download, like, Master of Puppets or something, and you can get the guitar tracks on YouTube. Good quality ones, not with artifacting or anything. You pull up the pre presets, and, uh, and it will match the tone Right here I have the Black Album, I have Injustice, I have Kill Em All, Master of Puppets, and Ride the Lightning. Let's do Ride the Lightning, I'll show you, I'll check that off and turn the volume back on. And, uh, if I can remember the riff, it's some. But yeah. Except for I'm in, I'm in D, so it's going to sound different. It, I'm not, I should have tuned up the standard, but I didn't feel like it because I'm lazy. But that is the... That's uh, the, the Ride the Lightning. There's Master of Puppets. And it may sound a little different depending on the speaker that you're using, so you may need to tweak it a little. Master of Puppets normally has a little more in the highs, but uh, because of what I'm plugged into, it's kind of muffling it a bit, so you can tweak it. Actually, I'm not even sure that's how that's played. Honestly, I don't normally cover shit a lot. I do a lot of noodling and, and trying to write my own stuff, so... You know. But, um... So what is it... It's and I mean, it gets you, gets you there. Uh, if I could actually, I don't know. Let me see if I did anything to change this, because I have sometimes I have it plugged into the speaker and I'll change it to get it, uh, you know, like that, whatever. So you can jack up the highs a bit. So if you think it needs more highs, but it'll get you definitely in the ballpark. And then very close to the ballpark of the sound, especially with the more complicated stuff. But one other thing you can do, which is, I think is cool, is if you want a different amp's tone. I've already done this. is uh, This is Rob Chapman's video. He's showing the Orange OR100. I just searched for amp reviews. And he has a really good recording of this amp. So I downloaded that. And what I can do with that is I can actually take the video if I can find it. That's not it. No. Actually, I can. I, I have the download thing here. It's right here, and I can go show in folder, and we have right there. Actually, I don't really need to do that because yeah, I don't. <laughs> so we hit VLC. You can go to VLC, and we'll strip the audio using VLC Media Player. So we hit con convert and save. I go add. It brings me to the desktop, but I want to go to the download folder. Um. So. See a few things I've downloaded to get the tones, like Ride the Lightning, Megadeth, uh, Holy Wars, and all this other stuff. Uh, here's the guitar tracks. You can find those on YouTube. Uh, and stuff. And I found some amps uh, as well. But this is an amp I don't have, so Stevie Ray Vaughan.
tones from Double Trouble. And we'll do, we got this orange tone here. And we can go ahead and hit Convert and Save. I am going to select, it'll say CD, which is Wave. Or you can do FLAC, it doesn't matter. Choose a destination file. Go to the desktop. And choose, uh, this is the orange, what is this called again? The orange, um, orange, uh, OR100. Let's just, I'm just going to copy and paste it. Custom. Okay. There's two amps in that review, but I'm going to do that. Yeah. So now it's going to save the, this as an audio file, which I will bring up in Audacity. Um, if I can find it. Where's Audacity? Here we go. Very simple. Just bring it up in Audacity. We drag and drop it. It brings it up. And uh, unfortunately, this is very clipped. So I'm going to normalize it. I don't want clipping in the tone. So I'm just going to normalize the tone so it removes that clipping. That's the unfortunate part. <laughs> that there's, uh, it was a little too loud when they recorded it. Uh, but just, just for the video. Sounded fine to me, but on uh, specific. Oh, <laughs> I changed the sound. Um, huh. Okay. Speakers. Huh. Let's try that. Why is it saying that? Um. Well, that's not what's supposed to happen. Speakers. Mic. The mic doesn't really matter. It shouldn't. Um, speakers, real tech. Let's see. Wow, it's giving me errors because, yeah, why not? Oh, I know why. Uh, I have um, this up. So I've got to get rid of this or it won't play. So we have that. Okay. So we have that going, and we can just grab a snippet of that. And it's game. Not, really not vocals. <laughs> not with the uh, talking part. I'm going to zoom in a little to make sure that I can easily get the tone and not the uh, not the talking so it doesn't have to be perfect like some faded in perfect okay and honestly that's really enough enough uh, to get a profile from so we're just gonna go down to export selected audio and we're going to drop that onto the desktop with the same name oh it's on the desktop no we don't want that then oh it is okay <laughs> I'll just put one after this it doesn't matter to me um, Although, actually, I'm going to put space one so I know what the actual name of the amp is. And that that one is just a, just letting me know it's a different file. And then we have this, which is a short clip. Alright, so that's the clip. Now let's bring up, uh, let's bring up Revalver 4. And, oh, I've also taken a profile of my guitar. If you don't know how to do that, you can just make sure I know how to do it. So right here, where it says Act Enabled, you can enable this. And then uh, you, it says Target Profile. Hit this, and it says it wants to record. You record, you just play notes into it until it's done profiling. It's going to profile the guitar. Then it'll apply a, kind of an effect to the guitar. And just 
get it, you can um, you can change the sound so that it sounds like a different type of guitar. You can make it sound like an acoustic, a bass, or whatever, or a different guitar in general. And that can be used inside of app. So right now I have my guitar, which is an Ibanez, uh, selected as the profile. And you want to make sure that when you after profiling a guitar, you have your guitar selected. It will give you a better sound. You select this. For, you look for your recording and right here I have the orange tone that I snatched from the video and I can open that and it's going to really quickly it's going to profile that and then it says an AV clip was created for you and yeah I do want to hear that you have to set that up in the settings and I forgot how that goes but original recording <laughs> That's uh, that that last clip was them playing the the clip, the uh, profile clip. So you can, yeah, do that. So that's their own recording with the effect on top of it. And I just dropped my pick. Do I have another picky anywhere? So I don't have to bend down, knock the into the camera. Yes, I do. So. So that's the, uh, we've just picked up the orange amps uh, sound. Whatever. Just, it's whatever, whatever. Yeah. So that's kind of how that works, and I think that's really cool because I don't need to have these amps available to me. I don't have to like mic up all these amps and record everything and do all this stuff. I can just download tones from YouTube or wherever of these amps and then basically get their tones, and that'll be that. that. Let's see if we have any stomp effects here. Oh, I do have a, um, a, uh, this on here. The grinder, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to hit the preset, and what is it? I can never remember the name of this. OR, OR1100. OR100. Bleh. So we're going to go to preset, and then we can go ahead and hit create new bank. Oh, wait, no. I, if you want to to uh, like I have orange I should have orange as a bank here uh, orange right there so I don't really need this but you can if you want you can hit create new bank if you don't have orange no I don't want to save that I want to delete it so seeing as I already have this I go into orange and then I want to add a new I want to add a new preset and then this is the OR100 OR100 and hit save like that you can add a description if you want um, in the screenshot I don't know that you can change that. I wish they would actually allow you to um, like reskin the amp based on uh, what you're using here but uh, bias amp lets you do that but this doesn't have that it's just this boring little cabinet thing you can add a cabinet on top of it. You can turn off the cabinet, by the way. You can have no cabinet. So then we turn the cabinet on to see what it's like with the cabinet. And that may be the problem that I'm having with that Metallica tone, where I think it's a little more, you know, it doesn't quite have that fizzle that it has on the album and stuff. I have the cabinet on. So it sounds really cool to me. I mean, it's only coming out of a combo amp, so 
you know, it's not going to sound like the actual amp, the freaking, um, you know, ent entire cabinet, as opposed to c having the tone come out of um, a uh, little tiny practice amp. Um, I have the, uh, the effects fed into the auxiliary jack to bypass the, um, all the, the EQing and everything. So basically it just sounds as is. Some amps have like uh, effects uh, inputs or whatever you call effects, uh, whatever. Not there, or all there right now. Um, and yeah, there's there's many ways to get in there without having the EQ actually affect um, what you're doing or whatever. Uh, yeah, so. So he said, that's the cat, that's with the cabinet, this is without. You also, do, of course, do the clean tones and stuff. So there's a few tones in that, that video, that one video, so you can actually, uh, you can actually get multiple tones. And, uh, yeah. So let's let's do a. I'm gonna redo a Metallica one, and see about getting that working. I think it's in here. I have the tones that I have downloaded right here. So I should have. Oh, I never did the. Oh no, that's the, I didn't download. <laughs> well, never mind me. Uh, I don't have Master of Puppets anymore. I must have deleted it because I figured I was done with it. Black Album Tone, Kill em All, Led Zeppelin, Trooper. I'm going to do, let's do Ride the Lightning, and then I want to hear the AB. This is what I'm looking for more. So you can hear how the, how the tone differs. I hope there's no, I don't think there should be a problem. A lot of people have been uh, doing reaction videos to the new album, so there shouldn't be any copyright issues, I don't think. Original recording. Model down. And that sounded basically, to me, it sounded exactly the same. So it's good because it's playing it through the same actual, uh, the actual same amplifier so it's not I'm not like hearing it through one speaker and then hearing the uh, modeled version through my amp so that's nice and I don't have to listen try to listen to it back and forth or whatever the hell who cares oh you can save the uh, AB clip too did not know that okay so I'm learning things we go and we can save that over to the desktop um, what is that called again? Uh, Metallica, Ride the Lightning, uh, AB. I'm not. I'm a little too lazy to start typing properly. I just thought it would be cool to save the AB. Want to listen to it through headphones? A B. Okay. Uh, I don't know where that went, but there it is. <laughs> and now we have. So, yeah. So I just figured I'd, I'd review the at combo. I really love it. In fact, it's actually the main reason now that I have this software. It's like, I love that. The only problem I have with this software is a big one, actually. It's really hard to record the tones that uh, you, are, you are playing with. And one of the main reasons people use these types of software is to have all these tones available for when they want to record something. Um, and that is very hard to do. Um, even, like I only know one software that works with the plugin, the VST plugin. And even then I have trouble. I have like no sound coming out and stuff like that. So P, uh, P 
TV or a valve. Or, um, no, the, the software you use to record is Reaper, and Reaper doesn't always give me sound, so I don't know what the hell is wrong with that. And there's too many options to be fiddling with, to the point where it's like, oh, forget it. And then I do have a, a hardware workaround. I will, if if I don't remember to link it in the description, let me know. But I will put that link in the description either way. Um, so I have a hardware workaround to record with, just basically plugging into through looping it through the, the auxiliary jack. But I show that on uh, YouTube. So uh, yeah, but that's that's the major issue I have is recording. If you don't care about that for some reason, uh, it's a great software, especially if you want some famous tones or you want to get the tone from an amp, the amplifier or whatever. So thank you for watching. Have a good day.